Well, we're here at the uh, halftime experience. Everyone is wrapping up. They're talking with their favorite wrestlers, their favorite people here. This, of course, is Chad Epping on the microphone. Coming back at you one more time for the Bell Time Club, Dante Luna. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you speaking, Chad? I'm sorry. I didn't even realize you were here. Yeah. Well, you're so short. But there seems to be some commotion going. I want my ass with it. There does. Jabroni and Tuna. What oh, are they, they doing? What? We're on intermission, and they're beating the holy hell out of each other. Are they at the merchandising table? Wow, they're just waylaying each other in with the fans in the crowd. They're meleeing in the middle of the crowd. I say waylay, you say melee, it's fine. But Wow, this feud's not dying at all. Well, folks, they, they had a match earlier tonight, but it was a no contest. Well, it looks like they're determined to finish this. And where are they going? Oh, they're leaving the building. And I'm afraid that's outside our jurisdiction. We're not going to know what's going on. I assume they're beating the holy hell out of each other. And we're being joined by the auspicious Drew Kazoo. Guys, what is going on? They're still fighting. They're fighting outside. I can't see what's going on. But, I mean, we're in the, pretty much the ass end of uh, intermission here. Yeah, Tuna just jacked Jabroni over by the merchandising table. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tuna had nothing to do with that. Jabroni came up to him and started a fight. You call it, you call, I'll call what I call. And That's unbelievable. Outside. I mean, we can't see. They are well out of our peripheral vision. And he ripped up one of Tuna's pictures. And they just decided to beat the holy hell out of each other. Well, you know what they say. I wonder if they're going to have to call the 5 0. No, the call animal control. I was going to say they might have to call the aquarium. That's why I said animal control. <laughs> Throw them in a tank. <laughs> and now they're back in the building. Here they are. And they're still biting. Take, there was a single leg takedown. See, those are effective in fights. Or so I've heard. Doc Ozone, who's representing them both, is in back and forth. This isn't even, this is just a straight fight. Where is our security team? Like, do we have a security? I don't well, they're going to need to do something about this soon because... Chad, you're the closest one to a loud, authority voice. Go out there. Did that, did that help? I think that helped, right? I'm pretty sure that does nothing, ever. Can we get some help out here? What is, I mean, this is, uh, well, there's Big Bear. Big Bear Matouche getting in there. Oh, he might be hungry, so those guys need to run. Uh, uh, they better book. And Big Bear just steps in between the two. Oh, well, there you go. When you got the wilderness, you fall to the forest, man. And now Big Bear's getting into it. Come on, guys. Big Bear went over there because he heard Tuna. <laughs> he must have thought he had to rip the can open. No, he probably thought some freaking fish or something. Possibly. Fresh grade. Give it to the next one. You understand? Next up. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, you, blah, blah, blah. you don't see that every single day. Yes, you do. Professional wrestling. Well, I see it every single show. It's absurdity at its best. Here we go. Show must go on. I mean, we got a show to continue, and I guess I'm uh, 
I mean, I'm on commentary, so I guess I'll just stick around.